This video essay is in response to a question from Kapesi Banda. I'll read out the question. He says, as a music producer, how would you help someone who brings an incomplete song? For example, a song with a chorus without verses, or a song with verses but without a chorus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, production that I did with a lady called Noku. Most of you have seen her from the Pasha TV uh, channel. She sang and I monolized the piece. <laughs> So you me judge like me in the and water. I say, no dear judge, no nigga, no dear one, judge, judge. And everybody liked it, and uh, some people sponsored it to record, and we ended up with a with a good product. So when Noko came to the studio. Uh, his song was incomplete. She had the chorus, which was a very beautiful chorus, and she had one incomplete verse. So it was now my duty as a music producer to help him um, write the other verse and also to complete the incomplete verse. Because basically, we needed two verses. Oh, no. This also shows how music producers today have got a lot of work to do as compared to music producers of the previous generation. Remember, I'm from the analog generation. I came into the music industry late 80s. So on this first clip, I was helping her to write the other verse. And um, we were using a guide microphone. That's the microphone that we use uh, during songwriting. And um, the, the, the take is not a proper take. She will have to go into booth after we perfect the lyrics and the melodies. As a music producer, it's also your duty to coach uh, the artist uh, how to sing on some uh, parts of the song, as you will see in this video. Okay, let's watch the video. The song is about performing on motions or snakuita and so forth. Yeah. All right, so first line. Papi, one, one, two, three. Papi, one, two, three. Papi, one, two, three. Papi, one, two, Pesa, pesa, in this next clip you can tell that uh, she was nervous and uh, it usually happens when it's an artist's first time to come to the studio. So as a producer, your job in that case is to inspire and to encourage. And one interesting thing I would like you to notice on this clip is a friend. I don't remember the name of the friend. Uh, the friend was encouraging her and every time she came to the studio, she came with that friend. On. And um, I've noticed that many artists, when they start out in their careers, they always have that supportive friend who believes in them. If you read uh, Snoop Dogg's story, he had a friend called uh, Warren G. He would uh, play Snoop Dogg's uh, cassette every every party he went. And um, if we go to Jamaica, we hear the story of Bob Marley. He had a friend called uh, Vincent Ford, uh, who used to run a soup kitchen. According to some sources, Bob Marley credited Vincent Ford as the composer of uh, No Woman No Cry so that uh, Vincent Ford could get uh, income, reliable income. The reason why I'm mentioning uh, these friends is that um, I've noticed that most people like here in Zimbabwe, once they make it, they usually forget those friends. Oh, and it's not a good thing because it's somebody who started with you, somebody who was encouraging you, and uh, it's, a, it's a wise and... Um, morally right to, 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 
to carry on with such friendship when when you make it. In Zimbabwe, I've got an example. I remember when I started recording Japanese in 2009. When we were doing this recording, he had a friend, Mr. Nice. I don't know if they are still friends, but uh, they used to come, the two of them, with uh, Mr. Nice, which farming is so so. So I just hope they are still friends, and I hope Noku keeps this friend when she makes it. Let's watch it. We need a second face. You can even go and go and do a recording. Do you understand, sir? Sing in the jaja, as the imi mono jaja. Hey, we're moving on. I'm going to tell you, daughter. You can't stay. Ah, no confidence, man. Yeah, I know, I know, but I know from the notary. I know you don't need to serve them after the two days. Look, we have not said. We have not made a suggestion court. Good, exactly. We have not made a suggestion. 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 That's a good line, but I'm not sure what it means. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you. I know, this is a This is a This is a so in the next clip, um, what I did is I suggested a Bible verse when Jesus asked some of the religious people who wanted to stone a woman for adultery when he said who has no sin is to cast the first stone. I thought that this verse related very well with the Noku story and I noticed that Noku is also religious. That's why I mentioned that verse. And when you come to music, no matter what beliefs you have, you have to, 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 to get into the shoes of the artist that you are helping to compose. For example, if I'm recording an artist who believes in Wadzimu, I will suggest um, verses or phrases or words that they have something to do with their religion. If I'm recording somebody who is a Muslim, I'll suggest verses and phrases and ways that relate to their religion, to their Muslim religion. So that's exactly what I was doing here with Noko. Let's watch it. <laughs> I think it's a really good line, and it's really good. Look, when I say something, I say something about putting up a face to face. I see that you dance, so that I do it. My melodies are the ones. I see that you dance, so na kande no more go tanga. What's bad? I see that you dance, so na kande no more go tanga. Tanga. I see that you dance, so na kande no more go tanga. So those words are the same thing but with different words. Asina chiri, nakande, nomore kutanga. Asina chitato, nakande, nomore kutanga. Asina chiri, nakande, nomore kutanga. Asina chiri, nakande. So in the next clip now, what we did is uh, we had finished writing the song. Now it was a time to go into the booth to use a proper studio mic, a proper condenser mic. And the one thing that I would like to say is I, I hear a lot of people say, me, I don't write songs, I just sing. That process of composing songs is what is called writing. The pen cannot compose, it's you who composes. The process of writing is just a way of documenting what you have composed or what you have written. So let's get that correct. So, Akomai, what we need to do is to choose some my proper focus. I just have a young guy to guide change. Or up in the mood. Yeah. So no, to take a new, to take a take a new. Oh dear, cha cha. Na 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 na. So the oxygen zero, we're going to go for no change. Change. Oh dear, cha 
Ah non, Jackson Zero. Ah, ah. Eh, that's another smooth. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Man, look beautiful. How about one, two, three? Help me, Jaja. I don't get an old dear judge or Garostan and Elio. Oh, dear judge. Oh, dear judge. Oh, dear judge. So, in the next clip, um, she was singing, but she was not giving me that energy. Was, uh, most people who are still new uh, to recording, they've got a problem of, of feeling constrained when they are in a studio. They feel they have to be soft, they have to be less energetic so I was encouraging her to, to be energetic it's also a um, part of being a music producer and um, I think that's the reason why sometimes live music sounds better or sounds more interesting than studio versions the reason why is because uh, in the studio the environment is very clinical everything has to be on the spot on so as a result um, that element of being too careful at times it kills a certain element of music it kills a certain element of excitement so i was encouraging me to to go for it one two three oh dear judge so now this is like we don't pass show jam jam i remember like room studio one day now in the next clip i was teaching her to harmonize Another aspect of being a music producer is to be a teacher as well. So you have to teach uh, your artists how to harmonize, how to do certain parts. Because what happens with music is uh, doing lead vocals is a totally different office from doing big vocals. There are some lead um, vocalists who totally cannot do big vocals. And there are some big vocalists who are very weak when it comes to doing lead vocals. So on this clip I was trying to see uh, if she can be good at uh, doing um, big vocals. She did the first part that I gave her correctly, but when we went to the soprano part, she couldn't do it. So already I now know her strengths and her weaknesses, but still I have to do it in a way that doesn't discourage her. Let's watch the clip. <laughs> Voice and Oh dear Jaja. Yeah. It happens. Oh dear Jaja. Exactly. Pep tanga chete One, two, three. Oh dear Jaja. Life is in your water. I say, oh dear Jaja. Oh dear Jaja. No, 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 we're not going to do that. 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 We're not there are times when I was giving her a melody and she didn't perform it the way I gave it to her. But I was just lenient and I, I just told her it's okay. Um, I was doing it on purpose. There's a reason behind. The reason is that she's still new. It was her first time in the studio. So I wanted her to relax. So I didn't, didn't want to be too tough on her. So what I usually do in such cases is I just record the performance which is not um, that good of course. And then I give a time to go and practice and come back, usually after a week or so. And then I know that when she comes back, there will be a rapport between me and her. She will not be scared of me. And then we just hit it at a row. So that's what we did. So let's watch the clip. The reason why that's a strict line. But what we do is, the rapport is an astomist up and the modes of a second day. Oh, well, that's right. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. So, I hope I replied your question very well, Kapisi Banda. 
So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play you the finished product uh, with a video. I'm sure you know that uh, we later collaborated with Manix, so let's watch it. I hope you enjoy it. Monolio Studio, the harmony of quality and professionalism.